How's it going, everybody? It's an update video for Greg Tech 60329. And this one adds a big multi block centrifuge. I'm going to show it here real quick. I do not have it done. It's a pretty advanced machine. You'll see it needs tier six circuits, crystal processor, rubies, and centrifuge parts, which is all tungsten steel, which I am in the process of processing the tungsten. Right now, I just went and cleared out a vein. Yesterday, we're crazy and worked most of the night last night trying to get this done and kind of failed at it. So. We're going to go through everything else and I'll have a multi block build for it later on this week, hopefully, like our next week, first of the week. Um, first thing is there was an exploit with blaze rods via crucible molds. Apparently, you can pour blaze rods. I had no clue. Um, fixed fire bricks not sinking. Now, I tried this out with Crazy last night, and they're still not sinking. You have to refresh to see it. They're still showing up as ghost blocks. So, I need to see if I can get with Greg and figure out what it's doing, why it didn't fix properly. Uh, Coke ovens now automatically output fluids to the bottom so that pump covers are no longer needed to extract the creosote. <coughs> Excuse me. And we also now have lignite cold coke. Can take purified lignite and put it into the coke oven and you will get lignite coal coke and you can put in uh, let me show you the recipes here I think there's a coal coke thing oh no there's not let's look it up this way you should be able to use uh, regular lignite as well but there there it is coke oven so lignite coal to lignite coke and you get 750 liters of creosote from it. You get a lot more creosote from the lignite. And recipes for this, you'll see if I can figure out where it's at. There it is. Purified lignite or nine purified lignite or Tiny refined lignite, regular refined lignite, or lignite itself. So it all depends on what stage of refinement you want to get the lignite to. You can't do just the regular crushed, it has to at least be, you know, washed, purified. But you can just throw that in there light it up and away it goes now I did talk to Greg there is no automatic input there is no automatic output so you will need a hopper on top and a hopper underneath or some kind of pipe but the uh, pump cover will not be needed so I can now go around and take them off when I get all of these upgraded find my there's my crowbar there so now I should be able to remove that without a problem and this will I'm so used to not having to click on the door so when this gets done it should automatically drop it right out so that'll save a lot on mean these pumps I'll check that in a second uh, made some ore processing steps a bit cheaper regarding total energy usage by shortening the duration. 
uh, lignite cold coke, which we talked about. Creosote oil has a wooden bucket now, which is very nice. So you can see all the wooden buckets with creosote in them because now you can use those for your railcraft things you have the wool and stick and creosote to make torches this is the actual railcraft and this is the Greg tech that he added um, creosote wooden block you can make with a log and a creosote bucket and then uh, let's see bath you can make creosote wooden blocks you can make all the sealed stuff now the sealed pipes and things like that so you can use uh, wooden pipes for gases now trying to find one of the actual pipes here there you go so you can see this one it says uh, leaks when used with gases this one does not say that so same exact bandwidth just this one can be used with uh, gases so that was quite nice uh, a lot of new ways to make torches this up here you have your regular forestry one the one we just talked about all the different railcraft ones the twilight one the old sulfur one now there's a phosphor which will make six and it can be dust gem whatever phosphorus as well and you got your regular torch with coal all the different kinds of coal dust and crushed coals which have always which have been here for a long time you can also do coal coke to make torches which you get eight of and then lignite you can also use for torches now which will give you two and lignite coal which will give you four and then the IC2 uh, sticky resin and stick recipe that's normally hidden is now showing he added that in so you can get torches that way and that would be your new torch recipes and there's one other thing that was added but it really don't have a use right now and that is a heat acceptor this thing right here it's for a future multi-block and it is dense copper plates long copper rods and a reinforced tungsten machine casing which is quadruple tungsten plates and long tungsten rods now that is basically the update video for today but I want to go over the centrifuge just a little bit and what's needed to make it so you will kind of understand what kind of setup you're going to have before you make this thing. So, first thing is you're going to need a lot of tungsten, like 600 and some tungsten steel. I know it's 300 plus tungsten that I needed to get processed. Um, this is the steel that we have processed up five stacks waiting for the tungsten to get done. And it is a three by three by two. So it's only two high, not three high. But in making this thing, like I said, you need these crystal processors and you need tier six circuits. Now, tier six circuits are the only ones that have to have these ultimate parts. 
and the ultimate parts have to have this crystalline redstone alloy plate. All the rest of them use the regular crystalline silicon plate. So I'm making up some of this stuff right now so I can get those done. Now the other thing that's going to be needed is a uh, dun -dun -dun -dun, this thing. And this part isn't hard. This is just a ruby plate or um, I do believe the uh, oh is it? Oh yeah this is only ruby. Never mind. Just a ruby plate but it's the socket that's the problem because again it's going to need four of these ultimate circuits plus an extra circuit board just to make the one socket but the other setup we're going to need is this here for the helium neon now you need a mixer to mix the helium and the neon but the only way to get neon right now is through this recipe that he added to get one helium one neon and one argon from an air compressed air cell now what I'm planning on doing is setting up this little thing here where it's going to compress the air cells it's going to put it in the centrifuge and then it's going to kick it out into the mixer now it's going to kick the argon in there as well but I don't think that's going to be a problem and I'm really not caring about the argon right now so if it wastes it, it wastes it I just want to get these circuits done and I've been processing like I said tungsten all night and I got three and a half of those this is all from Shelite I've been running and so I will have that done hopefully today after I get done with our live stream and have an update video for you I will also be doing a multi-block build like I have been for the Greg Tech 5 stuff for the coke oven now that everything is pretty well set the way it's gonna work so if you're interested in seeing how one of those are set up or at least the way I set it up be looking for that in the next few days so have a good one if you have any questions or anything oh wait a minute There's one other thing I forgot it's not in the change log and that is he was supposed to have fixed not being able to unpaint a chest so well that ain't working huh. I'm gonna have to I know the server's updated but for some reason that ain't working either so I'm gonna have to check on that with him because he said that was a bug that he uh, had gotten fixed now with this large centrifuge one last thing I did forget here is it has a 50% efficiency on it but there's no overclock clocking energy loss so whatever the recipe is that's what it is gonna take it's just gonna be 50% loss for everything and it goes from 512 to 4096 EU a tick so have a good one, everybody.